Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about the sweep to rail command. In the previous video, I have already covered the basics of the sweep one rail command and if you would like to know more about the sweep one rail, you can click on the label over here. The sweep to rail is similar to the sweep one rail. However, instead of being constrained by a single curve, the sweep to rail Will require you to have two curves or edge instead as rails okay let me show you a basic operation of the command I'm going to create cross-sectional curves Okay, to execute the sweep to rail you can click this icon on the surface creation toolbar or simply type sweep to at the command prompt okay so clicking on the icon is prompting me for the first rail so either one of the long curve could be the rail so this i want this to be the first rail and now it prompts me for the second rail so this is the second rail and now it prompts me for the cross section curves. So these are the cross section curves. Pressing enter, I'm able to get the sweep to rail surface. Okay. So what are the scenarios that we can potentially use the sweep to rail? Basically, Sweep to rail can be considered in situations where you need to create a surface from two long curves or edges. And now I would like to show further scenarios where the sweep to rail can be put to use. Let's start off by looking at this scenario. Okay. In this situation over here, we are required to create a surface between these two that is uh, having the edges match to curvature continuity. Okay. This is a situation where we can use the sweep tool rail. Of course, there are other tools that could be used to create this surface as well, but for our this demo I'm going to show how it can be done using the sweep to rail okay in order for us to do that we need to create cross-sectional curves and as mentioned because we need to create the surface to be having the edges match to curvature we will need to create curves that are likewise match to curvature or higher at the edges as well okay so let's Click on the adjustable curve blend. I'm going to click on this and click on this. And I need to set the continuity to curvature or higher. Okay. This is a basic surface continuity principle. And if you are not aware of it, you might want to click on this label to go to the surface continuity video that I have um, previously created okay that video will cover the basics of surface continuity okay so I'm going to click okay and then I need to do the same for this side selecting this to edge then again make sure that you're setting it to curvature or higher because we need to create surfaces that are matched to curvature okay so clicking okay and now we can proceed to do our surface creation using the sweep to rail. So clicking on the sweep to rail, this is my first edge as the rail, and this is my second rail. Okay, and then it prompts me for the cross section. So I want this and this to be cross section, and press enter. And you notice that. On the sweep to rail options, there is this edge continuity section where we can set the continuity, okay, namely position, tangent, or curvature. 
as mentioned i want both ages the a and b to be curvature so i'm going to click curvature for both sides and you can see that by doing so the surface actually changes so that the edges are matching to curvature okay and you can click ok and let's analyze the surface using zebra and you can see that yep the edges are matched to curvature okay okay if you look at the um, ISO curves, you might not be very satisfied with this flow in this situation over here. As you can see, the flow is not well distributed. So if you want to have a better control of the ISO curve flow for a better surface, uh, what we can do is add additional cross section over here to constrain the surface further. Okay, and I want to show you a way to do it. Okay, let me delete this. I want to create a curve over here that is uh, flowing in a way that is in line with these two surface. So what I'm going to do is make sure the object, the mid snap is turned on. I'm going to use the curve, curve from object, extract axle curve and click on here and make sure that you are toggling to the correct direction. Okay, so click toggle. And because I want to place one around the middle section, so I will click it when the mid object snap is uh, being shown. Okay, so I got this. Okay, curve, and let's do the same for the other side. Make sure that the mid yep is being shown. Okay, and now we can use these two curves to create our cross section okay by using the adjustable curve blend again so click on this and click on this and make sure that the continuity is set to curvature again for both the one and two then click ok and now we can create our surface using the sweep to rail again so sweep to rail First rail, second rail, cross section. Now we need to add this newly created curve as our cross section. Press enter. And you'll notice that the ISO curve flow is much better. Okay. Now I would like to show another scenario where we can apply some further options on the sweep to rail to control the surface better okay so in this scenario i'm going to create a surface over here using the sweep to rail okay so going to the sweep to rail okay first rail this is my first rail this is my second rail and when prompted for the cross section curves this is my cross section curve okay pressing enter and i got this result okay and you notice that this part of the surface is bulging out very high if that is your intended purpose it's fine but however i want something that is having the same height or similar height to that of the cross section so to do that you can use this option called maintain height if you click on the maintain height, you notice that the height of the resultant surface is constrained by the height of the cross section. Okay, over here. So this is a very um, useful option to be aware of. Okay, and again, if you want the side to be matched nicely, you might want to look at the edge continuity options. Go to click OK. Okay. Yeah. So that is how you can create a sweep to real surface that is having a height that's similar to that of the cross section. Okay. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that has been useful. See you. Bye.